Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 3D of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 87 and the question is number 3. Now this is actually a very long question. Uh, part 2 of this is actually, in my opinion, the most difficult question we've done so far in the book. So for that reason I'm going to split this into different parts. So I'm just going to do part 1. The question reads, a plane is inclined at an angle alpha to the horizontal. A particle is projected up the plane with a velocity u at an angle theta to the plane and the plane of projection is vertical and contains the line of greatest slope. Slow that the t sh slow, <laughs> excuse me, show that the time of flight and we're given an expression. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is resolve our vector u into our component unit vectors. So as normal I've drawn in black the x y plane. I've drawn the x prime y prime plane rotated anti-clockwise at an angle alpha to that. And I've shown the initial velocity vector inclined at an angle theta to the x prime axis and also have my unit vectors in the corner drawn very poorly. So we know of course that u is equal to u sub x i hat plus u sub y j hat and u is equal to u times the cos of theta i plus the sine of theta of theta j. That's something we've done probably a million times at this stage. So just to show you exactly where they are, these are the two vectors which when added together create that vector. So here is u sub y, here is u sub x. Alright, so next thing you need to do is resolve the gravity vector. The gravity vector works in the negative y direction. So to resolve this we need to go first of all parallel to the y prime axis, so here, and then to the x prime, putting them at right angles, and they must be in this direction in order to add together and create the vector g. So this is g sub y, this is the vector g sub x. So g is equal to g sub x i hat plus g sub y j hat. This angle here is also alpha. I've spoken about that before. It's basically because the vector g sub y uh, intersects with the x prime axis at 90 degrees and that makes these two angles the same. So g is equal to g times the sine of alpha i hat plus g times the cosine of alpha j hat. And the reason for that is that sine in this case is opposite and it corresponds to the i hat unit vector direction. Alright, so that's all we can do there so far. So the next thing to do is our Sokotoa. So let's just put in the, or the, we'll say the information that we know. We know this was equal to u times the sine of theta, this is u times the cos of theta, this is g times the cos of alpha, this is g times the sine of alpha. Nothing new there. So now we need to find the time of flight. So we know of course that the time of flight is given by when s sub y, the distance above the x prime axis, is equal to zero. So s sub y is equal to ut plus a half at squared. So it's u sine theta t plus g over 2 cos uh, cos alpha t squared and that's equal to 0 so it, this is a quadratic uh, it's a polynomial of degree 2 however we do not have a t to the 0 term so we can just pull out t it's the easiest way to solve this so we get u sine theta plus g over 2 cos alpha t is equal to zero, where you have two expressions multiplied together to create zero, one of them must be zero, so t is equal to zero, or negative 2u sine theta over g times the cosine of alpha is equal to t. This is of course is a positive number because I define g as equal to minus 9.8. And that's the expression that we're asked to get in the back, in the, not the back of the book, but rather on page 87. So that's part one done. Part two is tricky, and that's why I'm doing it in a, in, in a separate video. So thanks for watching. Please watch part two, pass it on to your friends, and subscribe to my channel.